Hey guys, welcome to another Division 2 video. Today I'll be showing you version 2 of my capacitor build. Version 1 was geared more to my playstyle, but has less damage. This one has more skill tier and has way more damage. Got him! Oh, ate him up! Ate him up with me and Betty! Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's go! Come on, put this drone on Pretty him. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Nice. Cool. Got one. Nice. Back up the uh, back up the uh, with that striker. Yeah, let's yeah, get this other one. He's down both yeah, of them down. Let's go. Let's nice. go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> nice work, nice work, work, nice work. That's supposed to be talking about. Them guys was hard to kill too. Mm -hmm. We just killed that man, her team. They trying to take out shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm so many damn drones. One, 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 one. How'd that work out for you, buddy? Put some drones down off, there. Bro. Rip me from limb to limb, why don't you? Let's start with the specialization. I use the tactician to get more skill tiers. Let's go down to the guns, the capacitor. I have 141.6k damage, 700 RPM, and 41 round mag. I got 15% assault rifle damage, 12% damage to armor, and 9.5% health damage. I'd love to get the health damage off with Damn should target out of cover, but I don't have the resources to roll this gun right now. Let's go down to the secondary gun. I have the tactical SBR 9mm with 85.5k damage, 15% SMG damage, 21% credit chance, and 10% damage to target out of cover. And I have the talent roll in it, flatline. For the talent on the capacitor, Shooting enemies build stacks to a cap of 40. Each stack grants 15% skill damage. After 5 seconds, stacks decay 1 per second. For each skill tier, gain 7.5% weapon damage. Let's look at the damage on this build. So the raw damage with 5 to skill tier. 395. But if I pulse out... The damage increased significantly to 454. For the mask, I use a Providence Defense. That gives me 15% headshot damage. And the main reason I use this is for the 10% credit chance. I have 50% weapon damage. 6% credit chance. 10% headshot damage. And I have a 6% credit chance mod. The chest piece, I use a Fenris group with 10% assault rifle damage and 30% reload speed. I got armor roll on it, 6% credit chance, 12% credit damage, and a 6% credit chance mod. And the talent spotter amplifies total weapon damage and skill damage by 50% to pulse enemies. So with this build, I use the pulse to give me more damage on my weapon and my skill. For the holster, I'm using the Brazos. That gives me 10% skill haste and plus one skill tier. Got armor rolled on it and credit damage. And the main reason I use this holster is for the 15% weapon damage. Let's go to the knee pad. The main reason I use this knee pad is for the damage to target out of cover. I have armor rolled on it and credit damage. And the brand set gives you 10% rifle damage, which you don't need, and 30% accuracy. Let's go to the gloves. I use the walk on Harris for the gloves, and we have 5% weapon damage and 5% damage to armor. I rolled one skill tier, and I have credit chance and credit damage. 
you can always opt to roll a skill tier on two pieces if you want extra damage. Just bear in mind that you'll be more squishy. The backpack, I'm using the Ninja Bike Messenger Backpack, which adds weapon damage and armor and plus one skill tier. And I have a 12% credit damage mod. The talent, resourceful, slots in with any equipped gear set and or brand set item to fulfill a requirement towards unlocking a gear set's bonus. Can unlock bonuses for multiple sets simultaneously. So that's the reason I'm using this, so I can unlock the secondary brand set bonuses on each gear. Let's go down to the skills. The first skill I'm using is the scanner pulse. And as you can see, it's at tier 4 with 60% effect duration. For the mods, I'm using a 9.8% radius and a 9.7% effect duration. The second skill I'm using is a striker drone at tier 4 with 80% striker damage and 280% health. For the mods, I'm using a 7.2% duration, 5% damage, and 10% health. And that's the basic build. Let's look at the stats. 141,000 weapon damage, 36,000 PvP weapon damage, 60% crit chance, and 135 crit damage. Hope you like this version of the build, guys. If you like this version of the build, drop me a like or subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I'll catch you in the next one. Here we go with some gameplay. Got him! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Got him! Joe ate him up! Joe ate him up! <laughs>